Hey guys, it's Flexinger here. Gonna go over my settings real quick. We got a very low graphics quality. I mean, just to save FPS. Uh, the game looks pretty good on very low anyways. Gamma is 70. I mean, just to see more uh, more clear. This, this game looks pretty bad on low gamma. The screen mode is full screen. Aspect ratio is 4x3, which is a stretch resolution. Uh, my resolution is 1440 by 1080 and to get to my resolution, you go to uh, NVIDIA control panel. You have to make a custom resolution if this would open. Okay. You have to go to customize. The only custom res that I have is this 1440 by 1080, which is, this is the resolution that I love now. Uh, I can't go back to native after using this resolution for a while. It's just so nice. And going back to the settings. Display color filters, elegant, contrast, not used, FPS limit, unlimited, thread sync off, or it sync, disable, anti, can't really change it with the low settings here. Re uh, refresh rates, 144 hertz. I'm not a Chad, so I don't have a 240 hertz monitor, nor do I even get 240 FPS when I record. Uh, blood effect is mature, which is the red blood. You could also change it to the teen, which is the white, watery blood, if you really want that. Gun trail effects, enable, just so you can see where people are shooting you from. System counter, off. Character, ultra, everything else very low. This is just so you can see the characters better on the map. And it j they just stand out more. Same with the weapons. Uh, going to most settings here. I, have, I use a 2.8 sensitivity in game. With a 1200 DPI. Auto adjustment on. I use auto adjustment just because it's easier. And... This is what my DPI is, 1200. I used to use 800 a little bit when I first got this mouse. Right now I'm using the uh, Razer Viper Ultimate. But um, yeah, I like 1200 DPI. It's what I've been using pretty much since I've started FPS games. Hold the aim is on. Just the fact that you can eliminate one action by using hold the aim and release your aim with uh, like re the release of your mouse button, it's just so much easier than having to click it twice. There's, I don't think there's any point to use toggle aim. People say toggle aim is easier to aim with like if you're using a sniper, but it doesn't really make a difference for me. Mouse Y axis invert. If you're actually using this, I give you props because this shit's so fucking hard to use. I don't even know if you're human if you even use this option. I don't even know why this why they have this let me know in the comments if you guys use this as like a serious option because <laughs> i'm i'm actually curious if there's anyone out there all right going over my key settings didn't really change much my key binds uh the thing i changed that's pretty good in my opinion this is a good change is changing your attach detach silencer from f to g and picking up weapons to f because you know your movement keys are WASD, the key right of D is F, and uh, picking up a weapon, if you're in a clutch situation, you run out of ammo, and you, there's a weapon on the floor, that could that could save you. Instead of reaching over to G, you could just press F. So I don't even, like having this attach, detach silencer right next to you, your D key, that, that can actually fuck you up if you fat finger it, if you're fighting someone and you try and put your silencer on mid-fight, it's like, why the fuck? Then, then you just sit there like a fucking dumbass, and, and then you die. So, yeah, pretty bad. Uh, view my weapon is my most left mouse button, just so I can spam it, because it looks cool. Uh, what else do I what else do I change? Drop C4, I'm pretty sure is standard. Show scoreboard, I changed to right alt, just so I don't keep spamming it. I changed that from tab, which is the default for scoreboard. My voice key is tab, just so I can... It's easier to reach in competitive I'm talking to people. But yeah, I, I'm a League of Legends player, so I press tab a lot to look at the scoreboard. So so, so you don't guys get annoyed with my gameplay and me spamming the scoreboard. I changed it. Uh, sound settings. 20% sound. 30% uh, 30 sound effect. Voice off. Fuck the voices. Hit sound effect. 10%. I don't really like using high sound. I like listening to music too when I play sometimes. Uh, f I use push to talk when I'm in comp. If you're always, if you use in like this always input and you have a shitty mic, I hate you. Not really. I, I don't really hate you. It's just you're you're pretty scummy. <laughs> it, it gets annoying. I'll I mute people if they have always on and they have a shitty mic. That's all I'm saying. 
but yeah, those are my sound settings. All right, crosshair settings. I use I usually use two different crosshairs. Right now I'm using Type Five, which is the dot. Using uh, size one black. It's a very no little. Uh, it's a minimalistic crosshair. I like it, but I also use this one, uh, 0.5 yellow, Type Four. This is also another one I use. Sometimes I go blue, sometimes I go yellow. Mostly yellow, but these are definitely my two crosshairs that I alternate from, depending if I want to change it up. Other, always, always use fucking max FOV. If you use low FOV like this, you're going to look like you're charging through mud. Uh, this this is how the game's meant to be played with, like, you know, you can go 75 if you want to. But try and get to max FOV. It just looks the best. It looks clear. The lowest FOV just looks awful. And you can't really see your peripherals a while. Hey, there's a car zooming through my fucking street right now. Hope you guys heard that. Uh, weapon alignment, right-handed. Sometimes I go left-handed once in a blue moon. Doesn't really matter. I mean, if you're left-eye dominant, sure. Or left-hand dominant, whatever. <laughs> Uh, display uh, friendly IFF. This is the name tags you see on your teammates. I keep it on just so I can see my teammates' name across the map. Display friendly outline. I see. I put this on too just so I can see my teammates through walls. It just helps to see where they are. I mean, some people aren't aware of this option and they think I wall hack in my videos. That's pretty funny. I put on mute friend request so you guys can't send me friend request just because like, you know, at one point I had 2600 and I couldn't use my friends list anymore just because I had so many. So I'd like to use my friends list sometimes. So I, I have I have to have this on. Uh, don't really care for these. This is the shitty tactical sign they put up this past update. Who cares about that? That wraps up my settings video. Hope you guys enjoyed that real quick. Try to make it as fast as I could. Uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions, and yeah, have a good one. Bye. Bye. Alright, before I go, I'm going to show you guys my setup. I'm using a fucking Logitech webcam right now to record this and using my Blue Yeti mic to speak. So, this is my main monitor right here. Right here. Uh, side monitor. Right there. I just got to wait for it to focus. Uh, PC on the side, tuck back. Pretty neat. I right, get the blue Yeti right there with the shock mount. It's not attached to my actual desk. It's attached to this little wood uh, wood podium thing for my keyboard. I got the Ducky One Two TKL with the orange keycaps that it came with, and these blue keycaps right here. I ordered those off of Amazon. They're rubberized. They're by Vulture. So look up Vulture uh, rubberized keycaps if you want those. They're so good. I recommend these blue uh, blue keycaps a lot. I recommend them a lot. For headset, we got the DT 990s. These things are actually like super comfortable. I can play with them all day without complaining at all. Uh, for the mouse itself, we got the the Razer Viper Ultimate. Super lightweight. I highly recommend it. It's a, it's one of the best wireless gaming mice out there. I like it better than the Logitech uh, G Pro Wireless. Just because it, it feels a lot better in the hand for claw grip. And this magnet right here uh, on the back, these two holes, it plugs into the, the, this is how it charges. There's a charging dock right here. I don't know if it's too dark, but yeah, it can, you just throw it on there. Boom. And it's charging just like that. Pretty cool. I like it. And for my chair. I use an office chair. This is weird. I'm using a fucking webcam as you can see the wire. I'm using an office chair. I don't know about the hype around gaming chairs, but office chairs are always better. This thing is super comfortable. But yeah, that's my this is my gaming setup. Pretty neat. Alright, bye guys. See ya.